we're out here at Monument Valley, or Cane Valley is actually called, and we're at the Monument Valley Umtra site. And here the work was, the cleanup was done approximately uh, 1987 to 1988. And uh, in this area, we had a large tailings pile and the tailing piles was all moved to Mexican Hat and they were consolidated with that tailings pile in Mexican Hat. And uh, what we did, what happened was they were, all the tailings were tr transported from here to Mexican Hat in semi trucks. They had uh, double trailers and uh, they were running about 20 trucks a day and probably around 170 loads per day out of here and all the mine waste or the tailings was moved to that site and then after that whatever was left it, they had the arroyo up a little ways and during the milling days they had the, the whole setup and then after the milling they, the, some of the families took the structures the steel beams and towed that away to make their garages whatever and some of the material that was too too old or too, that couldn't be used, they just buried it on site. And that was uh, later on, the company that was doing the, the remediation, they tore it, cut it up in smaller pieces, and they also moved that to the Mexican hat site, and it was part of the disposal. And right now, this morning, we came out to look at the, um, what we call the Fido Remediation Project. And the, the, what we have is the salt, whirlwind salt bush, and then the grease whip plants. Uh, the roots are going down to the depth probably about 20 feet and bringing up uh, the uranium contamination that's in the groundwater, nitrate, selenium, that kind of contaminants. Groundwater contamination extended probably a mile and a half through this process of uh, sucking up the nitrate by these plants. The plume is pretty much back within about a quarter of a mile. There is some wells that start showing some contamination and that's being monitored by the Department of Energy. University of Arizona is out here monitoring this project. They have little plots and little sections and they're testing each little plot with different type of mixtures, some like, uh, for an example, 50% uh, groundwater, 50% uh, water from a clean source, and each little plot has a different uh, sequence. And they're just kind of experimenting to see which one is actually working and uh, right now this pretty much covers probably about three acres I'm just guessing and this is pretty much what they're doing at the same time they're doing some overhead images with a satellite that these pictures you know how the growth is growing and randomly they're collecting soil samples or, or plant samples and they're that they're being analyzed and that determines how the uh, how much contamination is actually being cleaned up. They're just using the, the greasewood. And then the other places they're just using uh, the uh, four-wing saltbush. And some places they're doing it separately, some they're together. And they're different using different water mixture. And sometimes they, they add some type of fertilizer. And they're just kind of experimenting them in plot areas. And if you're looking around there, out there, some are doing really well with some certain mixture, and they're a lot bigger. And some of the earlier projects here, there are smaller test plots, and you can see some of the bigger bushes out there also. This would be your four wing salt bush, and then this is your greasewood. These plants uh, are able to get uh, the root depth, it goes down to about 20 feet. And the water table right here is probably less than that, but it gets down to that water table. Then that's when the it starts bringing up the collecting the nitrate or whatever is in the solution, the water, and that brings up to the into these plants. Uh, then uh, with that method, all that contamination is being brought back to in this area. And later on, when part, as part of the when they feel like they're all done, then these plants will probably be picked up pulled out and then uh, burned and then whatever the ash results is probably going to be disposed of as a uh, contaminated material. So they monitor that section and see how that mixture is working in some areas and some areas 
it, maybe it's doing poorly and in those poorly areas they might add some type of uh, nutrients and then to help it grow and then continue to uh, get the plants to be productive you can use some contaminated yeah. water to irrigate yeah and it's kind of a, being a recycle type of a format so actually the water is not being injected back into the ground it's being fed to these through these lines mm -hmm. to the plants